What up folks, I'm Ultrazone and today I have a review of the Power Rangers Lightning Collection in Space Andros. That's right my zillions, uh, we have Andros here from in space and I haven't gotten, I believe, uh, any in space? Maybe, maybe one, I don't know. Uh, but I haven't been getting too many Power Rangers Lightning Collection lately, period. But from the moment this was announced, this was one I wanted to get because I thought it looked really awesome with the uh, rope. <laughs> And it is an uh, alternate helmet here from, I believe this was his first appearance, I could be wrong, but I think so. It's a nice Tom Whelan art on the sides, which looks good. Nice shot of Andros on the back. So, without any further ado, let's get to the review. Okay, so let's start out with the basic bear figure here without the robe and stuff like that. And any of the accessories, we'll do the articulation first. Head is on a hinged ball joint. You are a little bit hindered by the hair, but it's not so bad. You do have the upper body joint here. And then you have the waist clicky joint. Works pretty good. Awesome butterfly joint. Really good, look at that. Nothing hindering that. Hinge swivel otherwise at the shoulder. You have a bicep swivel. You have a double jointed elbow, which works great. Hinge swivel there. Splits that much. Kick forward, goes back. Swivel at the thigh. Double jointed knee. The back part here is not working so well. On this one, I think it's the opposite. Oh, actually, the, this one works perfectly. This one, the bottom joint. There we go. Finally got it to click. A little scary. <laughs> Boot cut, rocker, hinge at the foot. So you got the full articulation here that Hasbro allows for any of their figures, uh, which is great. Like really good articulation. Okay, taking a look at this figure in full, I gotta say, I feel like the head is up a little bit high, so it's throwing the portions a little off. Like this looks a little weird to me here. Um, I don't know if they did that because this is kind of a generic body and just place the head up too high or it's because of how he looks in the robe but there's definitely something there uh to that uh it's a bit unfortunate it just throws the figure off just a little bit without that robe um we're gonna see this body with the helmet in a little bit so it might change the appearance a bit however the head sculpt is really nice very good head sculpt. I do got to say, this looks a little bit older than what Andros was in uh, in space. But I think it looks really good. It's a nice looking head sculpt. The eyes are painted well. The eyebrows look good. The mouth looks good. His earring is painted gold and that looks good. The highlights in the hair in yellow is a little choppy, but actually kind of works for it in a way. And the head sculpt and the hair sculpt is very nice all around. The rest of the body, again, it's pretty much a generic black body with boots, gloves, uh, nothing crazy on it. Looks fine. I don't have much to say about it um, other than it works for what they needed to do. So that's good. And then on his chest, you got the gold symbol, which looks really good. And uh, the gold belt buckle looks nice. You got the holster there, which is cool. He does have a, and we're gonna, we're gonna start bringing in stuff to, to accessorize. He's got his in space blaster here. Really nicely done. Blue plastic, silver and gold on that. Silver and gold. A uh, little bit of red. Looks really good. That could just get holstered in here perfectly which I do like. And that's what it looks like with the blaster in his hand. However, uh, they didn't cut the finger in a way that he could kind of pull the trigger on, so to speak. You do get a kind of like a orangish pink effect part here for this blaster, and that looks pretty good. You just pop it at the end here, like so. So he's blasting. I think it's a little keyed. Let's see. Uh, maybe it's not. Oh, you could do that. <laughs> it 
So that's not bad. That's not so bad. Now, before we do anything else, let's take a look at the other black accessories. Uh, you got one fist hand and you got one pointing finger, which is good. That looks really good. So the thing I was talking about earlier though, you got this black in space helmet, totally done in black. It looks really sharp and black, super glossy. So let's see how that looks. Pop the head off. Pop the head on, possibly. <laughs> oh, popped out. Let's get on in there. That may or may not be completely on. No, it's not popping in good for me. Let's let's try again. Might have to do this off camera. Get a better angle. Or heat. Well, there we go. Uh, you know what? This head looks weird on this body too. Uh, I gotta say, looks a little bit small. Like there's no way all this head and hair <laughs> are fitting in that helmet. Um, and it's so glossy compared to the rest of the body. So I did like this helmet, but unfortunately I feel like it's, it's not so great. You do get his uh, other weapon here, which looks cool. Kind of like a silver gray here, red paint there, black there. And uh, this, he could hold a little bit better, I think, oh, or not. Like it, yeah, there we go. So you got that, that looks pretty good. And you get an effect part for this as well. Uh, he's all powered up. That's pretty cool. I do like that. I'm betting you could use this for the end of this as well. Just because it's pointy. <laughs> so yeah, all, all of that works well together. But here we have the final piece of the puzzle. And that is his robe, and it just, and it looks like a Jedi robe, or just a nice warm house robe. <laughs> it's nice and fuzzy. But I, I gotta say, the color, which is kind of like a maroon, like, com you know, a going along with the black body, actually looks really good on him. I do like that. Uh, I think that's really cool. Get his gun in. And I, I like this look. Yeah, I mean, it completes the figure. Uh, I think it looks really cool. So that's not bad at all. Um, the hood looks good on it. Doesn't look too crazy big. Uh, well, your mileage is going to vary on that. Uh, but I think it works. And then, you know, you could close it up. This little Velcro here. Yeah, and you see the symbol through that, so I don't know, I like it. I think that's uh, that's pretty good looking. Definitely, you know, what attracted me to this figure was the dark body underneath with the gold showing, uh, and then the robe on top. It's like Power Rangers uh, Jedi. I don't know, I like it. I think it's very, very cool, and definitely what attracted me to this particular figure. And uh, in those terms, it works. So yeah, I'm happy. And for your size comparisons, while I don't have any other Lightning Collection figures here in the apartment with me currently, apologies, I do have some other six inch scale figures and uh, a Zord from Power Rangers. So there you go with your size comparisons. And my final thoughts, uh, this figure's all right. You know, uh, I, I think overall the look is good. The head sculpt is really nice. I think it looks good with the robe. Um, but the figure itself is, eh, you know, when you take everything off, it's a little bit bland. Uh, and the uh, glossy helmet is too glossy compared to the body, so it throws it off a little bit. So proportions are a little off, but with the robe, I think it looks pretty decent. Um, I don't know. It's one of those things where I really wanted to get it, and now that I've, and I've liked it, but now that I've done the review completely and I'm at my final thoughts, I'm kind of like on the fence of whether or not I'm going to actually keep it. Um, so it's, 
it is what it is. You take that as you will. You let me know your thoughts down below as well. And if you could please uh, like, comment, subscribe, share. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Stay safe. Until next time. Peace out, peeps.